So with all this talk about this huge Goliath of a man that's destroying women at swimming, um, you know, it's weird how the media, whenever they're talking to newscasters and they're reading the screens, they're reading screens, they're reading the same screens, guys. The screens have the words in there. And every time that they're referring to this huge dude, they're calling him a her. As if you, in your mind, have to, like, be stupid. And ch and you know what? There are people that I'm looking to my left and my right, whether it's the workplace, whether it's at Walmart, whether it's wherever you go. There are some individuals that have been brainwashed by the media and they themselves are referring to him as a her. And it's an ugly thing. And in the midst of that ugliness, somebody sends me a link and I had no clue because I'm not into that stuff. But like MMA fighting, somebody sent me a video of the women's MMA. Well, there's a lot of men that are joining the women's MMA. And I sat there and watched a man beat down a woman with all these combinations. Uh, one of the women um, had her, her skull fractured. And it's like, what? Are you serious? Men? Like, if a man's going to fight in a cage or octagon with another man, you know, that's their choice. It's their decision. You know, it's gladiator status. You know, it's it's been around since ancient days. But I've never seen it where a man wants to join a female arena and beat on some women. There's something psychologically wrong whenever a man wants to jump into an arena and wants to beat on women. Psychologically, there's something going on in the mind that's not right. And then the people that are watching it psychologically and spiritually, they are being conformed and changed. And there's, there are spirits that are entering into people that agree to this. Because if you're showing your children that that man can beat on that woman, then your son is going to be a wife beater. I have zero tolerance and zero, zero respect for any man who thinks he can lay his hand on a woman. And... If I see that in, in my presence, I will first go go up and break the man's jaw and, and, and disable him because I am I grew up in a house where I've seen the woman hit by a man. I've never once in my life put hands on a woman, but today there are men joining the MMA and the announcers are referring to him as her and these guys change their names, give themselves some kind of pansy girly name, you know, and they, they dye their hair pink and, 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 and they're like all with female female um, gestures and female you know voices but it, it, we all know what it is and we're not stupid either and to all you men out there that want to put your hands on a woman to hit her abuse her or hurt her you need to go to a man who's twice your size and try to punk him come to come up to a man who's about a foot taller than you and try to punk him come up to a man whose bone structure is larger than yours and his bones are more denser than yours go up to a goliath and and go go punk him see what happens you're going down you, you will be humbled in life as well